Hey folks, and welcome to the Pipnotic Symposium for the 25th of June 2020. Uh, today is probably going to be slightly shorter, depends how far down the rabbit hole I, I end up going, but I'm going to cover the, the gold and the silver crosses uh, with the euro and the American dollar. And we'll start with this one. Okay, so this is, what is this, I think this is, uh, this is gold against the euro. So. In order to understand what's going on, I want to be on the monthly chart. So I'll click on the monthly chart just to see where we are relative to the big flows. We don't have a lot of data, as you can see, actually dizzyingly little, but we do have an area of supply here. We had an area down here which was tested. We had an area here that was tested. We had this one here that was tested here. We had this one here as well. So we do have a couple of historical levels um, and we have this nice, fresh, untested area above price. So for this one, I mean the beginning of the sell zone for this area of supply is the, the deepest retracement since this was established. Does that mean that you can't uh, do anything in here? You have to wait until we get up here? No, it doesn't. It just simply means that on this monthly supply, this is a sell zone. But on the smaller time frames, price is going to, of course, wriggle up and down um, and do many different things. And you'll see micro trends on the one hour and the four hour um, that can go against the macro trend that we can see here on the monthly. So if we have this, um, we want to have a look at the weekly chart just to see a little bit more data. Hopefully we have it Here we've got a little bit. And so looking at this, we have something that's interesting. This trade kind of already happened, but we had we had this here, it was tested, price sat on it, removed it, so the origin of the move, this is the area of supply that removed this demand, but the origin of the entire move is up here. So this is where we would expect price to bounce, and we had a bit of a bounce there, um, and because we also cut through this one here, um, maybe we can expect price to have a, a, a bit of a bounce down here at this area. So if we move this down to here, like so, we have accumulation candles, well, more or less. And then we had the departure candle. This one closed above the highs of the area of accumulation. So this is probably where we're going to have a bit of a bounce at the 14.01. You can probably hear dogs shrieking behind me in the background. And that's because we, we live in a house uh, in the jungle in, I suppose, central, west central Bali, uh, pretty close to Ubud. And, uh, and there are literally hundreds of dogs all over, wild dogs. So we have a, we have a, a wall around the, uh, the house to keep the dogs out. And that's actually the biggest concern about living in Bali in the countryside of these damn dogs. Uh, and so we always listening to these dogs fighting and and going crazy um, and so we can always hear like the, sh the shrieking of dogs um, so we're quite pleased about the war also the other day my son was on the on the first floor looking over at the end kind of to a next to a field and he's like dad 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 come here quickly so I ran over there and we had a look and there was a, a, a two meter long uh, spitting cobra uh, that kind of slithered its way into uh, one of the Balinese houses next door to us. So I spent the rest of my day kind of waiting for the neighbor to come home and, and have a holler and say, don't go into your house. <laughs> but he didn't come home, so the snake probably left. But that's quite a, that was quite funny. So the joys of living in the country. But we have this area of demand just here. This is weekly demand. And we remove this. And this is a strong one because this won't remove this. And so they're all linked together. It should be really cool to update the software so that it actually showed you which one is responsible for removing uh, the other one. Um, but we kind of have that here where we have this one here, which is tested. It was removed. Actually, not quite. Prices went deeper. And now this one here, the origin of the move that went through it is up here. And this is where price came to. So it requires a little bit of discretion. Um, but due to the fact that you can just see where these areas existed historically, and you just look for the origin that removed them. This is obviously just a, well, not obviously, it's just a really nice way to help increase the level of objectivity when po uh, performing such an analysis. Okay, so, so we have this now. This is an interesting area. I'll be much more thrilled about this area if this one is gone. 
but it's not because currently price is sitting at this sell zone here established with this candle we came back lower a little bit deeper so we tested a micro child in here and this is where we managed to wriggle lower so this could be interesting but I'd probably want to manage this a little bit more aggressive but for the time being if this was gone then that would be a different situation then you could um well then essentially liquidity has been cleared out to the upside uh, making it easier for the uh, for this cross to move higher so we have this here so let's have a look on the smaller time frames on the daily and the cool thing about this is is that you can go to the the very very small time frames and you can look for these real clear departures and you're trading within the range of this weekly area and so now you want to find these really nice areas you can see actually we have a couple here we have we have a lot of, we have quite a few really nice areas we have this one here our price kind of rallied we kind of stopped at the highs here we're nesting on on this area just here this is a really nice departure okay uh, we didn't get really close to it the price kind of came close we came to maybe the sell zone here this micro supply tested it then price rallied moved sideways and then we cut through and now we're trading above it so the area of demand that removed this is this one but we do have a couple of other things that are interesting we have we have this that was tested this one removed it price tested this one once twice move up sideways rallied accumulated and then we cut through it and so in a situation like this and while we could easily get bounces here then I'd be keener to look for the origin of the move so if we go from here to here and here to here and here down to here I mean the origin of the move is kind of down here so I'd be more keen on buying a slightly lower than buying somewhere like this which is pretty close pretty far higher and you see we had this really delicious area just here that was tested okay and the software drew this on the chart when one two when this candle here closed the software said cool we have some we have supply here so we're informed much in advance the price would probably have a bounce there and we did have a, a really nice bounce at that price point so now prices we fed into the beginning of the sell zone which was here before pretty close here we're a little bit deeper up into the actual supply and this is where we left and so we didn't have a huge departure but we did have a departure nonetheless so I mean I don't think that this is going to provide any huge resistance um, uh, for us up here okay but we, this one's gone uh, the origin of the move is down here but because price stopped before it and then moved through it I mean I'd want to have a look here because there's something in here you can see tested tested so there's definitely something in here so with this one I'd probably go to the hourly chart and I would see if I can find something that's just showing us a little bit of a bit of clarity if we, here we have wait let's see if we can find that area oh, there it is see this is the highs of it we want to find that little leg down that was removed then we had the first test please mt4 broker have it here it is right here so this one here is the one that did it so now you need to find the one below this that removed this okay so we want to go scroll back and we'll probably see it on the hourly chart but you don't want to take the one above you want to take the one below it was strong enough you can see I mean this is pretty much where it is how we we tested 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 price had to go the slingshot was pulled back and then we left okay so in the buy zone would be here we have the accumulation this is a candle to the left so right at the edge of this here would be an interesting area just here okay so that's what we can oh there's a lot of lines in there aren't there let me remove some of these turn this off so we have to do all the legwork ourselves so let me get remove some of those and you can see I mean prices where price came up we had a struggle we kind of let me zoom out a lot okay so we tested it once twice we sat on it we moved sideways and then we went up but notice here that we had wicks down here and here and here so I mean, I mean a slingshot on a slightly bigger time frame was pulled back a little bit deeper um, okay and so maybe wanting to look somewhere in here so if we go Right, we'll just mark off that 
and zoom in a little. Then we can maybe find the area. Let me get rid of some of these areas. There's a lot there, isn't there? Okay. Okay, so here we are. So we'll just do it on this time frame. It's just easier. We had this one area here that was tested. This is where we tested. This is the area that removed it right there. So we could argue that this would be the next place that we could expect price to have a bounce. So just here. Okay. So just here. So price did have a bunch of tests, and this is the one where price accumulated, and then we just punched. We punched the head off this area of of supply. Um, and this is where we departed from. So this is so obviously the place where we would expect price to, to slow down at or react at and later. And we have the buy zone right there. So we could, in a situation like this, um, go go like that and flick it on. And then let that roll. And so here I'm thinking from around, I'll move this down around this area here is where we will likely see a reaction okay right there at the departure candle this one actually did this one close above let's have a look no this one closed within range of the previous so this is the one that did it and the low of the the one that departed is right there so this is a pretty interesting area we got ourselves a really nice stop um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there okay but looking at this on the weekly we notice that we're kind of moving down into the thicket of this. Um, this is gone. This one did it. So we're kind of getting at the upper edge of this area here, where we kind of had like resistance becomes support, resistance becomes potentially support in the future. So that's what we have there on that one. Let's leave that on and out. See what happens. So I said we have a we were hiking in the mountains in Northern Valley. And in, in Bali, I mean, you don't wear anything but flip-flops, and so your feet just get destroyed, and so you got stub toes and, and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, right. So if we have a look at this as well, you could also argue, hmm, well, actually, maybe we want to go to the lower this candle here, because this is the one that left, and this is debatably closing above that one. And so you could say, hmm, well, maybe, maybe we'll reduce it to this one. And I actually like this a lot. So I am quite comfortable leaving it like that for the time being. So we'll leave that alone and see what happens. Um, okay, let's have a look at the next one, which is gold versus the American dollar. And on the monthly chart, <laughs> oh, this looks like Bitcoin, doesn't it? Or crypto chart, low, low, low prices, frenzy buying, and then price returning to the origin. This is my, this actually really does look a lot. You know what? Let's have a look. Let's put Bitcoin next to this. That might be quite interesting. Let me remove all of these, all of these objects. Okay, so let's put this one here. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. For our four, let's go to the, the weekly and take this to the weekly. All right, look at this. This is the gold American dollar, and this is Bitcoin American dollar. Look how much these two look like each other. Isn't that interesting? And so, obviously, the the common denominator is the American dollar, but still we do have very different assets on the opposite side of the equation here. But it's quite interesting. So we could maybe, um, this is just, I think this is very interesting where we have, let's have a look at this one first, where we have this enormous departure lower. We're gonna want to find this. Okay, so this one has been tested once, twice, three times, four times, it's gone the origin of the area that did it. This one did it, of course, but this is the origin of it, is up here. This one is the one that did it. We'll 
do the same here where we have well that's remarkable how much they look alike where we have I don't know we'll just go like this tested 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 the origin of the move that removed it is this one see the cell zone is right here the high this one here and the area that removed this one here which is also the one that we could see see here is down here just here isn't that interesting that they look so much alike let's go back and forth a couple of times that's incredible they really do look alike so maybe Bitcoin is the the equivalent to the the digital gold who knows anyway enough about that let's focus on this time frame all right so we're back on the on gold American dollar and we have this really 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 beautiful monthly supply just here we had price this price level tested numerous times and this one completely destroyed it so this is a very obvious place that we would expect price to react at in the future then we have this one down here uh, price rallied we had this little area here this tiny area which was tested here price left came back tested the chart came a little bit deeper kind of um, move close to this area of monthly demand and then we left so the slingshot for this pair is looking like that so that's what we have on the, on the monthly chart so let's have a look now on the on the weekly chart price is currently reacting at this monthly supply this is a nice supply when price left here we managed to remove this you can see there's like a, a small lilla dotted box here this is just telling us where we had historical levels that are, have been removed so this one here was tested by this one this one here was tested by this one as well this one here was destroyed as was this one okay and the origin of the move was right here so the top here so price is currently sitting on that area right there oh, this is a really nice area when price comes up to here I mean, this would be a pretty a really nice price point to um uh, to sell um, is why what I think um, if we have a look here now we're looking for those areas that are responsible for removing other areas you notice we had these lows were removed by this the origin of this move is here so got something here tested the cell zone is here we're getting pretty close pretty far into it uh, down lower we had this area of demand this is demand because we managed to um, I mean price was pulled back the buy zone is at the lows of this and then we managed to move above this area here if you got that the buy zone is actually right at the edge of the 1455 area now price is contending with this week uh, monthly supply and this can take weeks sometimes even months for price to figure out what it's going to do if there's enough liquidity distributing to support orders um, that have a, a more bearish uh, stance on the market then they'll normally play out after a series of weeks because uh, as I mentioned in some previous videos um, the distribution of liquidity um, so supply and demand is a very it's a very slow and gradual process okay so price is doing this demand supply sell zone okay when the sell zone gets deep into the area supply uh, then it's time to look at something else and if you look higher um, <clears throat> well there's nothing really super interesting where well, we have this one which tested this one this one that tested this one this one tested this one this one is kind of moving up into here so there's probably something in here and this little red candle here that we can't see on this time frame so but this is really really longer term stuff I mean this can take months or even years for price to get there but we do have a nice accumulation departure slingshot run higher and now we're poking into this this major supply up here so now we want to have a look and maybe look for the area that remove that so here we have that nice um, that nice structure how rally accumulation departure excuse me we go here we can see we've got something right in there let's have a look at that in a small time frame First, let's try the four hour. Ah, yeah, 
right there. Software found it, this one right there. Like that. So this was, actually we actually tested the chart, didn't we? So if we go here to the high, it's like that. So we tested this area, the child, we, we accumulated just below the child and then we just pop north. But look at all these wicks here. This is kind of pointing to an area where we have a lot of buying. And you can see this uh, happening just here below this little area of accumulation. So I'd expect price to move through this and a little bit lower. So knowing that we can go here, we'll just do that quickly. God, the internet here is an absolute kill. I've, def I've developed the patience of Job living in Bali because the internet is so slow. I just pause. Okay, there it is. So looking at this, if I wanted to entertain the idea of, of doing something there, I could, I could, and I'd go like that, but I'd move my entry below here like that, below it, something like that. Okay, I like that a little bit better because this is kind of a lot of sideways price movement, so I'd expect price to move through that. Okay, so it move, it'd probably move through this and potentially down to this area here, which is very nice. This is a very clear um, buy zone just here. So you could also say, well, actually, I'd prefer, prefer to have a much more uh, interesting stance and do this. And that wouldn't be a bad of an idea. Also, because I mean, if you look all the way down to here, you're getting to price levels where price is already traded. And this is just one of those very nice resistance becomes rally, building up pressure, pop. And then we test the origin, sorry, the area of demand that caused price to trade above whatever it is in here that price struggled with right here. Okay, so I think that would be an interesting one. Move this, something like that. So it looks pretty decent. Yeah, so that's what we, we have right there. So we'll leave that on. Um, okay, let's move now to, not to Bitcoin, silver. Let's go here, silver. Wow, the internet worked. So let's go here, first of all, on the monthly chart. Wow, we don't have anything. Uh, well, you can see there's something going up there, which is a very high price, silver, euro. I mean, this is very high, so we can expect price to, well, we don't know, I wish we could see what was going on below that, but we do have this area here, uh, the origin. Let me just mark this off. We have this right here, this was tested. The knockout came from here. The origin of this move is down here. Okay, um, I like this one here because of the sheer power, the sheer strength, so I'd probably mark it off like that. That's a really interesting area and that would be a really cheap price for silver. This is, this, the current is at the 15, 50, 1566 and this is at 1156, so that's really cheap. And so we could say, as a matter of fact, I just put that on there for the time being and then we'll have a closer look. That's a huge stop, isn't it? We shan't bother, it's too too big. So we just have a look on the smaller time frame. Sorry, it should be the weekly chart, it's a small one. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this is that area that we looked at. Notice that we had, this is where we had that kind of a uh, that stuff there uh, tested. This one's gone. The origin of the move is down here. So we actually we came down to here. This is kind of where we came to before we left. Price rallied away from here. We moved above this one here. You see how we had tested, 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 destroyed. We tested the back side of that a little bit deeper and we went down. And now this is the area that caused price to hold above it. This one did not hold above it this one did, price went above. Okay, so this is strong and price reacted at that price level. And so here, we have something else just here. We had a lot of tests here. So we had testing, testing, and this area here removed these. We went down here, price rallied, sideways, rallied, sideways, rallied, sideways. We went through the slingshot when it was pulled back to here, this is where it originated from. So the strength, the strong push came from around here, around there. So let's have a look. No, I don't want to sell.
so let's see where that brings us. The 111.27, that's a pretty good area. Um, but price could easily come to the back side of this. You know, we have like supply, we test, price removes it. We test the back side of the supply, uh, which now becomes kind of support. <clears throat> and then we've got something in here. Let's maybe have a look on the daily. There's something in here that's, that's looking interesting. If you look here, I mean, price rallied, moved sideways a bit, and then we cut away. So we actually have this little one right here. Because when price, this is the area of demand that caused the removal of this area of supply, the beginning of the buy zones right there. So what's that? What's that? That's around the 156 ish area. Sorry, the 1256, 1266 area. Let me remove this. The 1256 area, that's it's pretty close to where that, that area is. Price came down here. We tested the beginning of the buy zone for this area. And now price will likely have a deeper push uh, lower. Okay, so that's what we have there. It's, it's just a lot clearer, as you can see, on, on the monthly and the weekly. There's just so much clarity. And here we had this delightful area, price left. We had this one here, price left, sideways left. So there's a lot of clarity at these at these price points here. The software likes this one here. Um, and this would not be a bad idea at all, but obviously this would be um, above the area, so I'd expect price to wriggle south. So what we could do is we could do something like this. This is just a oh, not that one. This is just an order entry utility. This is not. This is just something I made for to help me out a little bit. We can plop that in there. We could say, all right, let's move you lower. Okay. As a matter of fact, we also have this one here. I like this, how price left here. We went below these lows. We rallied, accumulated, and then we left. So you could even argue that this is a more interesting area. And I like the best price possible. So I would probably take that one. Okay, so that's what we've got there. We've got one more pair. Let me remove all these. wrong here okay now we have silver American dollar probably look relatively similar and so we had a lot of testing of this area the origin of the move that caused price to wriggle above it is here okay right there go to the weekly See if we can find a bit of clarity. And we do, we've got this here, how price kind of rallied, moved sideways, and then we moved north. So it's probably looking to trade at that area. Okay, if we go back here, we could say, this is kind of the origin of that move. The candle that left, the low of it is actually right there. You can see this candle left, this is a low of it. But this is really, really far away. So it could take ages for price to get there. So I may or may not leave that in there. But this, of course, just here, this is a, a pretty ravishing departure. I mean, one period, see how price tested it. We rallied to it, we moved sideways for one period, and then we left. So we could argue that that is a, an interesting spot there as well. So I'll leave, I'll leave that on there and we'll see. Price is having a difficult time uh, moving low as you can see. Good, well that's, uh, that's 30, actually I promised somebody to have a look at the, at this one here, at the US in this, so I'll do that super fast. So here on the monthly chart, huge departure from here right there let's mark off where the, the lows are see why did price stop there see and you can see here how we had test test price rally but we couldn't close above and then here this is where we had the slingshot was pulled back and left and we left right at the edge of where the candle that closed above all of these highs, we just go to the kind of the, 
kind of the meat of it. And if you have a look here on the on the on the on the line graph, you can just see how this is just a very nice area. It's respected by the pr uh, price closes. Okay, so that's what we have there. Um, where is it? Right. So that's what we've got there. Price poked right into that. Would I, did I take did I take this? No, I didn't. I mean, this is a this scared the life out of me. I would I wouldn't have bought in a situation like that. <clears throat> so I can't boast of having taken that trade. I'm sure somebody did, but not me. Um, but I mean, price is kind of just wriggling, and then you have to find these these little areas here where we have we have something here. Okay. Almost tested, tested, tested. And this one here just destroyed it. This one right here, there's something in here. We can leave that like that. And then we'll go to the to the daily and see if we can find out what it is that's devastated that price structure there. And to find it, you can see, I mean it looks like this. Actually we had the slingshot here. This is more of a daily one. Here. This is the daily supply slingshot was pulled back and then we left. Price went up just above it and now we left. So now we're looking to, well we don't know, we have this one here which was enough to move prices to hold them above and beyond this area of supply in here that was tested numerous times. Let's go this one here. This is tested. Price went up to the opposing side almost to the, to the beginning of the sell zone for this, this candle here almost not quite and we left and now we're moving lower so the next question is where is price going to go well we have a buy zone here and we have a buy zone here okay so that's what um that's what we have we also have I mean the origin of the move that removed ah uh, you it didn't remove this did it it went up to it and then it came back so you want to look lower. So I would, you could certainly do this intraday. Um, this is maybe a little bit better, and then maybe we'll have a look just in here somewhere. And if we do that super fast, let's just box the whole off area, and then we'll have a look on on the four hour. And oof, that looks terrible. Show me some data, broker. What's the worst with MT4 brokers? Is the lack of data. Okay, so just in here so zoom in this is where it is you can see right here test test so this is the area that it was testing right there okay price went up to the highs came back went up to the highs came back went up to the highs came back slingshots pull back and then we managed to hold above so if we go back to the daily uh, the 28.38 is roughly where that point begins. Okay, so we have this, we have this, we have this just here. Good, 33 minutes. I'm going to knock off for now, but uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the video or drop them in the Discord channel. Thanks again for watching.